Hi, it's Anthony Anarino, and it is Monday, and it is time for a new daily video. A few weeks ago, I did an affiliate marketing program with Michael Hyatt, and I sent out emails on his behalf for a program called Best Year Ever. And I've personally gone through the program two times. I believed in it, and I sent it out to my email list. And I received an angry, sort of angry, email from a young salesperson out on the West Coast. And he sort of challenged me about pitching and about selling using my newsletter. And he said, I thought this was a blog about sales and you're always pitching your stuff. Well, I wasn't pitching my stuff. And when I pitch my stuff, I promise you're going to know it. I got a book coming. I got a program coming, a couple programs coming. You're going to know when I do that. But it made me think, this guy's got an account executive, he's got a sales title, and yet he feels something inside about selling and it just doesn't make any sense to me for somebody in sales to feel that. So I want to talk about that for just a minute. And I want to talk about why you never have to be ashamed to sell. So the first thing is, if you believe in yourself, if you believe that you have the ability to create value for other people, if you have the ability to help people get results that they want, you never have to be ashamed about selling because that's what you do when you sell. You say, I believe that I have what I need to be able to help this person do something and get some result that they're not getting now. That's the first thing. So if you believe in yourself, then you never have to feel bad about selling because you know that you're going to deliver for your, your dream client. And the second thing is, if you believe in the product that you're selling, if you believe that the product has the ability to really help people, then you never have to feel bad about selling that product. And if you feel bad about selling, you either don't have a belief in yourself or you don't have a belief in the product. So th that's the first couple points I would love to make to a young salesperson. You've got to understand this and you've got to get it into your body now. The second thing is, Selling is not something that you do to somebody. It's something that you do for somebody and with somebody. And if you feel bad about selling, then you don't understand it. It's not about manipulation. It's not about being smarmy. It's not about being pushy. It's about finding a way to help people get breakthrough results. And that's really what we do in sales. We help other people get breakthrough results. That's why we're consultative. That's why we have all these great attributes that salespeople have and the ability to help people change. We're change agents. The, the other thing that I would say to this young person, and maybe you feel this way, so it's something that you can adopt. There's not a business in existence that doesn't exist to create customers. That's what Peter Drucker said. He said a business exists to create customers. So that means every single person that works in a business their job is all to create customers. That means everybody is involved in selling. So if you feel bad about selling, if you think it's something that's terrible, that it's something that you shouldn't do, or it's something that makes you less than other people, know this, if you're in accounting, you're part of a sales organization. If you're in operations, you're part of a sales organization. If you're in leadership, you're part of a sales organization. That's why a business exists. A business exists to sell. It's a commercial enterprise. That's what you do. So there's never a reason to feel bad about it. And then last, this is probably my favorite reason. Sales is the great leveler. Somebody could be born smarter than you. They could be born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They could have everything. Somebody could get a great head start because they go to the right school and they have the right education. But if you can sell, if you learn to sell, you can level the playing field with anyone. And I personally know this, I've watched my mother raise four kids by herself. And her ability to sell fed her children. When she was petrified to even pick up the phone and make a call, it took her every ounce of energy she had to break through her resistance and her fear of selling. But then she found out it was serving and she was able to develop clients that she kept for 30 plus years because of her ability to serve other people and to help them get results. So this is why I am never ashamed of being a salesperson. I'm never ashamed of pitching. And I've written this on the blog before. You never saw Steve Jobs when he wasn't pitching you and you never felt bad about Steve Jobs. And I promise you, Steve Jobs never felt bad about what he was doing. He had something that he believed in so strongly and he believed that it was gonna create so much value and help people that he never had a problem pitching. So. Go and be confident in what you do. Believe in yourself, believe in your product, believe that you can help people, believe that you can level the playing field with anyone, anywhere. 
and sell. It's okay. We all appreciate the help that salespeople give us when we're consultative and when we get better results. I'm Anthony Anarino. You can find me at thesalesblog.com. When you go there, do sign up for the newsletter and every Sunday you'll get an email from me in your inbox that will help you hit the ground running on Monday. Until next time, I'll see you soon.